Hey everybody! So in our last video, we compared the performance of Gemma 3's different model sizes to 27 billion through 1 billion. Today, we're going to analyze the performance of Mistral Small 3.1 across the same benchmarks. According to Mistral, the 3.1 comes with improved text performance, multimodal understanding, expanded context window. It outperforms Gemma 3, GPT-4 O Mini while delivering much faster inference speeds of apparently of 150 tokens per second. But that is what Mistral says. What hidden gems do our benchmark tests reveal? We know never to trust what the LLM providers say about their models. But in this case, I am glad to report that Mistral is not exaggerating. In fact, I think this is probably, probably the best open model I have tested so far in the size. Here are the scores. So for the harmful question detection, it scored a 95 out of 100. The named entity recognition, 70 out of 100. SQL query generation, 95 out of 100. And retrieval augmented generation, this is where it's brilliant, scored a 99 out of 100. And you can see it's beating Gemma 3 as well as GPT-4 O Mini in many of these benchmarks. I have to say, I'm very impressed with the performance of Mistral 3.1. To get this level of performance from an Apache licensed model is fantastic. This is surpassing the performance of Gemma 3, which in itself is surpassing the performance of uh, GPT-4 O Mini in many cases. This is amazing. Before we continue, I would like to ask you for a favor. As you can see, we are a very new channel with a small number of subscribers. So if you enjoy our content, please consider subscribing. It costs you nothing and it helps us grow. Also, check out our website, promptjudy.com. You can sign up and create your own customer valuations, or you can look at community valuations for a wide variety of use cases. We have published hundreds of evaluations and are releasing more every week. If there's one thing that you take away from this video, please let it be that you should be testing your own trumps with your own data to see what works best for your use case. Trump Judy helps you do just that. Now, back to the video. So let's take a look at the tests. So this one is the harmful question detection test. For those of you who have seen my previous video, please skip ahead to the results. Um, but for those of you who are look, seeing this for the first time, this is a simple classification task where we give the LLM a question with a specific set of instructions and expect it to categorize the question as harmful or not harmful based upon the rules we provide. This test represents a very common use case in business applications, providing a first level of defense against getting the LLM to output sensitive or controversial information. Mistral 3.1 performed exceptionally well on this test, scoring a 95 out of 100. Let's look at one small mistake it made. It classified this question as not harmful. Uh, clearly, this is lead speak. Um, and, you know, it is talking about harmful content, so it should have been classified as harmful, but it didn't. Despite this one error, the performance here is very impressive and comparable to larger models. So this right here is the named entity recognition test. Again, if you've seen my previous videos, please skip ahead. But this is a particularly challenging test because a single mistake in the JSON output results in a zero score. For context, even the frontier models like GPT-4 or Claw 3.7 Sonnet uh, score like a 90 or 95% on this test. So Mistral uh, 3.1 scored 70 out of 100, which is uh, very impressive for its size um, and comparable to the Gemma 3 uh, 27B. Let's look at a couple of the mistakes it made. So in this case, it made a mistake with uh, the languages. So for example, there's some mistakes in um, understanding of Hindi, Korean, and Chinese. Um, it also made some transliteration issues, um, like it missed the St. Petersburg. It didn't correct the spelling for Microsoft. And this Massachusetts, I think this is I think this is just a test being a bit more, a bit very strict. Given the complexity of this task, the performance of Mistral 3.1 is quite respectable. Um, and it's, you know, I think it's among the best performance I've seen from an open model 
of this size. This is the SQL query generation test. We provide the model with the database schema and a question, expecting it to generate an SQL statement that answers the question. We have some specific rules, no data modification statements, clear responses if the question can't be answered by the schema, and returning results in JSON format without explanation or comments. Mistral 3.1 scored an impressive 95 out of 100 on this test, making just one very, very small mistake. It attempted to create a query for customers whose birthday is this month, despite the fact that the customer birthday wasn't available in the schema. The correct response here should have been, it's not possible. The performance here is higher even than the Gemma 3 model, which in itself was also higher than the 4.0 mini model. So Mistral 3.1 is performing very, very well here. And now for the retrieval augmented generation task. Mistral 3.1 scored an excellent 99 out of 100 here. In this test, we provide the model with a set of documents, which is uh, markdown versions of PDF pages. The PDFs themselves describe the performance of frontier models. I chose these PDFs so that they have a combination of text and tables, and we're testing the model's capabilities in terms of understanding markdown. We asked the model to only use the data from provided context, include citations, refuse to answer unrelated questions, and respond in markdown. A Maestral 3.1 just made a very, very small couple of minor errors. Uh, it just included some irrelevant references, um, and it reported 89.4 instead of 0 0.89. I really don't think this is a mistake. What is exceptional about this um, performance here is there are no hallucinations, which is an absolute, uh, absolutely amazing performance from a model this size. Um, as you can see, uh, the Gemma 3 model uh, didn't didn't do very well on this test, and uh, this is this is just amazing. So to conclude, uh, Mistral 3.1 demonstrates very impressive capabilities across our benchmarks. With such high scores for harmful question detection, uh, the SQL generation, and the SQ, and the RAG, it performs at levels comparable or exceeding uh, models like uh, GPT-4 or Mini. This, I think, it makes Mistral 3.1 an excellent choice for many production applications, providing very strong performance while being very efficient in much larger models. I'm curious what you're using Mistral models for. Have you found Mistral 3.1 as useful for specific use cases? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the